Hey there guys, it's Tina and I am back. And yes, yes, I bought some more stuff. Are you judging me? I need to, listen, if you're judging me right now, this is probably not the space for you because we love makeup over here and we support our fellow beauty lovers with their addiction. Not really, like I, really we shouldn't be supporting that, but at the same time, like I am trying, I am trying to kick the habit, but I'm not doing a very good job at it. No, I think, no, correction. I think I'm, I'm no, I'm not. Scrap that, whatever. This is a haul video. <laughs> made me mad. So I have another haul video for you guys. It's not as crazy as my last haul video because I was, I don't know, I went crazy on skincare when Sephora had their Beauty Insider Appreciation Sale. And um, I picked up a couple more items the last day of the sale and I also picked up some um, some more eyeshadow palettes because I wanted to try them out and I wanted to support like a uh, beauty collab. So let's just, let's just talk about it. So, all right. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We need a little bit of an appreciation break before we jump into this video because we are at 90,000 subscribers and it literally happened in like the last two weeks. I posted my video for the makeup community and makeup geek going through my history with them. And I was a little bit hesitant about posting that video because I know how it can come off and people, I thought people were gonna think it was harsh or too negative. But the feedback that I got from that, a lot of people were very positive about it. And I am happy that people saw that I wasn't coming from a malicious or vindictive place. The positive thing that came out of that is that we're at 90K. How did we get to 90,000 subscribers? I'm so happy, I'm so thrilled, I'm like so excited. I'm like, oh my God, we're that much closer to the play button. And I, it was just this overwhelming support and people that are coming to my channel and they're like, they like my personality and they like me and I'm like, oh my God. Like I'm not everybody's tastes and my videos are long and I talk a lot, but that people want to watch me and like me and subscribe to me. It's exciting guys. So thank you so much. If you're new here, if you've been here for a while, if you've been here from day one, or if you're here from yesterday, thank you so much for subscribing and supporting. I really, really, truly appreciate it. And back to the regularly scheduled program. So I got recommendations to try out the, um, the Tarte Knockout Tingling Treatment. This is meant to exfoliate, balance, and minimize the appearance of pores. It is a 10% acid complex. It's a powerful pH rebalancing blend of salicylic and lactic acids to help renew and resurface the appearance of skin. So this is somewhat of a toner product because it helps to rebalance the pH, which is what a toner is essentially supposed to do. Because the whole thing is back in the day, cleansers would strip your skin of the protective barrier and it would throw the pH balance off, right? It would make it either too acidic or too alkaline and then you had to balance that back out, whatever. It just helps with the protective layer and then it helps also with the absorption of products that come after it. I am not the most versed on skincare. There is a lot that goes into it and there are a lot more qualified people here on YouTube to help give you feedback and give you pointers and tips and give you the whole like chemistry behind the whole thing. I am not that. I am not an esthetician. I am not a dermatologist. I ain't know nothing. I am just here trying to live my best skin life. And right now I am struggling. I am on the skin struggle bus. And huh, I have never had to deal with, not never, but I've never, no, I, I keep saying never. I have not had to deal with acne and breakouts a lot. Like I would have gotten the odd pimple here or there like sporadically, but I have not had to deal with breakouts. In the last month, going on two months, probably two months now, I have had a breakout consistently every week. In the last two weeks, I've had a pimple every day, like painful pimples and I just can't, I, I just don't know what's going on with my life and I am just, I am fed up. So I bought a ton of skincare, but I was kind of lacking in the toner department and this one is one that I picked up. That was a long conversation just to say I picked up this tingling treatment. 
Char was actually having a sale. I think I got 30% off of this and it's, it's a tingling treatment. I recommend using this only at night and not every night, like every alternate, like every other night, cause I, woo child, huh, it hurts, it hurts. It, <laughs> I put this on before I did this makeup look, so I was prepping my skin and I'm like, all right, let me, I wash my face, let me do this whole thing. Child, it was still burning when I put my foundation on and it's still tingling right now and that is not a fun feeling at all. It actually really feels awful, so, I'm hoping it, it, people have said great things about this. Like people are like, it's so awesome. It really does great things to your skin. So I'm hoping the tingling burning, I'll get used to it and that it's worth it in the long run. Cause it's a hot mess. It's a hot mess. I'll never use this during the day. But I did pick up this from the origins. It's a perfect world age defense treatment lotion with white tea. So this guy is almost like, um, it's like an essence, right? So you're supposed to apply this. Does it say that? Yeah, it, you apply this and it hydrates your skin and preps it for the treatments that follow. And you can use this day or night. I use this during the morning time. It is a very lightweight like essence, like a Korean skincare essence that you apply to moisturize your skin. It helps to hydrate. It does absorb pretty quickly into the skin and it feels nice and refreshing and it smells really nice too. I just wish it had a better applicator because it's just an open bottle. There is no dropper like the tingling treatment here. It has a little dropper in the top. So I wish it was just better packaging. But I really like this so far. And it's very refreshing to use in the morning time. So I've been enjoying this. And then I picked up another product from her before. This is the Pink Cloud Rose Water Moisture Cream. And this is a moisturizer, obviously from the name. And you apply this after your toner and all that stuff. And you can apply it. It says to let it absorb for one to two minutes before applying facial oil or makeup. This is a really great like daytime moisturizer. And I'm we're moving into the colder months now here in New York on the East Coast. So I picked this up. It actually feels pretty lightweight on the skin, which I liked. And that's what I that's why I picked it up, because I tried it in store and it absorbed really quickly into my hands so i was like all right this should be good and it should absorb really quickly into my skin and it gives me a little bit more hydration since i tend to use a lot of mattifying and long wearing makeup i want to have that hydration under all that so i picked this up we're gonna see how this goes i tried it a couple of times but not enough to say whether i love it or hate it or whatever it's just because i try it with different makeup i try it with different foundation so i'm not sure like how it affects like longevity of my makeup anyway this i picked up now those are all the skincare products but i picked up some palettes i picked up some palettes from indie brands and from like drugstore type brands so the first two palettes i picked up are from milani so Milani has released a couple of these palettes now. They're their 12 pan eyeshadow palettes. They released two that I already hold, that I already have, and they released another palette that was more of a face and eyeshadow palette. I forget what the name of that one was, but I didn't pick that one up because I felt like the shades, yeah, that's cute. It had like car um, cranberry tones, warm tones. I'm like, ah, uh, ah, uh, I can do without those. So I wasn't really interested, but the texture was really nice. Then they released these 12 pan type palettes. So this is the soft and sultry palette. This is a, um, it's a neutral palette. It's more gray toned. It's more taupey tones. I love this stage shade shape. Uh, oh, girl, what? I am not doing well. I, I love this shade selection and I love the selection of mattes. They have, wow, that's a lot of mattes. That is eight mattes and then four shimmers. So that's a great selection for me because I prefer mattes. And they have a good layout of blending shades, transition shades, deepening smoking shades, and then great shades to just have on the lid and they have highlight shades as well. So I think this is a great assortment of colors. And I saw this at, I got this at Walmart and it's much cheaper to get it from Walmart. I think this was $14. These usually retail for $19.99 at Ulta and on the Milani website, but you can get these for around $14 or $15 from Walmart. So that's where I picked these up and you can order them online and then pick up in store, which is what I did because it's 
but listen mm, twenty dollars is pushing it for me for milani for drugstore is pushing it but i mean even twenty dollars are still like a good value for money the other one that i picked up is the pure passion one this also has like those warm cranberry tones like the is it the jewel palette i don't know what it i i'm not even gonna dwell on that this still has like cranberry tones but it has like orangey warm tones as well and then it has like you know those peachy tones that reflect pink and peach it has those here as the highlight shades and then it has warmer tones and like a deeper red tone dark brown i like this selection as well and i feel like this is a great selection of shades this has six mattes and six shimmers and i'm excited about this as well and i find that the formulation in these palettes from milani is actually pretty good and milani is stepping it up and i really like these so these are the number three and number four palettes i already have the one and two so i was excited to pick those up and another drugstore palette that i picked up people are asking me if i was going to pick this up if i was going to review it this is from revolution or makeup revolution that's their former name but they have since i don't know like they're all over the place because it says makeup revolution london but then it says revolution they go by all kinds of names and i'm just like listen listen stop trying to confuse me because i can barely keep up with my life i can't keep up with all these makeup names okay so this is the collaboration between emily noel here on youtube and makeup revolution she created two palettes with them she has the wants palette and the needs palette the needs palette is a face and eyeshadow palette where she selected shades from their regular line that she likes and incorporated all those shades into one palette and she calls that the needs palette because it's all the colors that you would need for a full face keep in mind though those tones translate better on a lighter skin tone one that's closer to emily noel's skin tone because she is caucasian she is white and she is i don't think she's like porcelain pale white but she's a white 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 lady a very nice white lady <laughs> and um she obviously chose shades that she likes which won't translate well on me so i didn't pick that palette up wasn't interested at all i wasn't even interested in this one this is an eyeshadow palette and she created various different shades and i like emily noel and it was a collaboration that originally i wasn't gonna support because of the brand and the formulation of their products their eyeshadows contain parabens they use methyl paraben and propyl paraben as their preservative so it helps with the shelf life of their products and the shelf life it does say 12 months and my problem was with the parabens they cause my eyes to burn and itch even my brush cleanser the one from cinema secrets i had to stop using that because when I would clean my eyeshadow brushes with it, it has parabens in it and it would irritate my eyes when I use the brushes. So I discovered that the hard way and I, no, listen, it makes my eyes just really irritated. So I wasn't going to pick that up for that reason, but I feel like I wanted to support Emily Noel because she is such a positive influence hair in the beauty space and she's been at this for so long and she shared so much of her life with us and I feel like she is just i don't know like i like her energy and she's one of those people that are not scandalous she's not out here in these streets just being a hot mess and so i wanted to to kind of show my support and show brands that they can collaborate with these not like mega million subscriber influencers and still be successful because her palette sold out she's got really good support on this palette and i'm very happy for her and her reveal video it's so heartwarming and you can tell that she's so genuine and so sincere and she really did this out of love and she came from a very positive place with this so i'm very happy for her so this is a 28 eyeshadow palette and she went through all the shade names and everything so you can watch her video and check her out but i do like the shade selection and i like that she had some darker shades in here and this is very emily noel she's not afraid of color but she's also not like bold like i am into color if i did a palette you know it would be colorful i will never do a collaboration palette to be honest with you guys one it probably won't sell that much and no one wants to collaborate with me i am 
more controversial than say Emily Noel because I just speak my mind and I don't care because I don't have to I don't have to answer to anybody and I can say what's on my mind. I sometimes I guess I can come off as harsh, which I don't mean to be I don't listen, I may be harsh but I'm not trying to be malicious most of the time. I can be a little bit feisty sometimes. I'm Jamaican after all. What do you expect from an island girl? But I don't think I need to be getting out there in that space because, I, listen, my energy, <laughs> I can't. But I love makeup. I just don't want to be a part of making makeup. I want to enjoy makeup. You know what I mean? And I don't want to be a part of this corporate thing. I don't want to do that. So I'm happy for Emily and I do want to try this out. I don't know how much use I'm going to get out of this though because, again, parabens and itchy eyes. Not my favorite thing. So... It's a cute palette. I like the packaging. It's hard plastic. I like the signature. I like I like the style of this. I like the shade she chose. Um, Makeup Revolution's formulation is decent. It's pretty decent for the price point. And they do have some good products. So I'm not like opposed to this brand at all. So then, all right, let's jump into the, the last palettes that I picked up. I picked up some palettes from Makeup Addiction Cosmetics. This is, um, I got the Smoked Out palette, the Meadow palette, and the Vintage palette. I picked these up because of spooky lips and fat hips here on YouTube. There are like a group of women that I follow here. They all kind of get along. They're like their own little group. It's spooky lips, fat hips, Georgia Harris, Makeup Struggles, LS, and um, Angelica Nyquist. Angelica Nikris. And I watch them all the time and they love indie brands. And I got this inspiration from Spooky Lips and Fat Hips, like I said. She was talking about indie brands and the ones that she likes. And so she was talking about these palettes and she said she really liked the formulation. So this one is the Vintage palette. Isn't that beautiful? It's like a beaut- Okay, I know I'm like overdoing it on the neutrals, but this is a beautiful like neutral palette, right? It has a pop of orange, just like a- everyday easy palette right and then she has the smoked out palette did i rearrange these i almost feel like i did because what i did was i switched out i may have rearranged them i'm sorry yeah that's what i did i switched the shades around so <laughs> this is not what they look like i apologize i should have probably filmed this before i did this huh the point is, if you go on their website, you'll see what the layouts are, but I kind of swapped them out because you can pull them out of the palettes. And they have the names of the shadows on the bottom of the eyeshadows. So I like that I can customize my own palette. This way I can keep the shades that I would use together in their own palettes. And that's what I did here. And I don't know, like I, I am very excited about these. The eyeshadows are, the mattes are so dense, so rich, like you can feel it, the density in the shadows and I love that kind of texture. When I feel it in an eyeshadow, I'm like, yes, bring it over here because I know you're going to work beautifully on the eyes. So I'm going to dig into these and see how it goes because I'm really excited about those. So I'm happy. Thank you, Lacey, for recommending those. And then I grabbed the Ace Beauté. The Ace Boutte, wait, Ace, I reached out to them and asked them how to pronounce this, Ace Boutte. So these are the, the I got the full, you know, the full um, thingamajig. So I got the full bundle, all four palettes, Makeup Struggle says bitches love bundles and I love bundles. So here I am. Um, all right, I love the packaging. Packaging, beautiful. Everything is color coded, color themed, beautiful. The Slice of Paradise palette has what a plant, what a flower's name again, Boxfoot. It's a it's such a popular flower in Jamaica. Oh my God, I love this flower too, and it smells nice. But it has like decorative stuff on it. They don't have parabens in here. It says it's cruelty free and it's twelve months. The thing is with cruelty free, you can claim cruelty free, but you won't be certified cruelty free. And most brands can claim cruelty free because they aren't actively testing on animals. Most brands get the non-cruelty free label because they sell in China, in the China market, which the Chinese government subjects cosmetics that are sold to their nation. They subject them to mandatory government testing. And it's not every single product that goes through that testing. It's just like, hey, heads up, 
we may choose we may choose your product to test on you know and they do animal testing so automatically if they sell in china they can't carry the cruelty free label even though they're not actively testing on animals themselves it's a fine line and i am not cruelty free like i'm not one of those people and i i'm not getting into that let's let's keep it moving so this is the slice of paradise palette which has the tropical shades in here they have the shade names they're oranges um a yellow they they feel really smooth as well they're I did not I did not swatch these yet and I'm that woo, Lord Jesus okay who calm down Lord mm. <laughs> sometimes I, you guys do this you go in store and you swatch something and you're like ooh, or you get something and the minute you touch it you're like oh my god oh my god oh my god this is orgasmic so this is a little orgasmic that shade persimmon oh my god that was sexy that had me ooh. let me try passion fruit oh my god these are, f look, 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 just that way you can't see nothing. I just dabbed, shut your mouth, shut it up right now. Fudge, these are nice. Oh my, oh my God, let me see this purple. Purple or, purples are notorious. All right, that's gonna be a little bit patchy. I can already see it. But no, we're not for worried about that. If everything else nice, well, good be. All right, okay, I did not swatch these yet. And now, now y'all got me excited. Lord Jesus I wasn't gonna get all of these palettes but the bundle I was like all right I'm gonna get it so the blossom passion has flowers again this one is not my favorite I don't like pinks that much and I don't like reds that much I'm not like everybody else <laughs> I'm not that type but I mean I think they did a great selection of mattes and shimmers you get 12 shades in each these are like 30 something dollars a pop but it's one hundred and like four. It's one hundred and something for the for all four of them. So this one is like the ready. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay. Hello, hi. Okay, these feel nice. Okay, this red shade here, which is lust. That's a, that's gonna be a little bit patchy. So some of these shades I can already see you're gonna have to work a little bit with, but nothing like crazy outlandish. Nothing I'm not used to. Then we have the Paradise Fallen palette. This is the purple palette that everybody was gonna go was going crazy about. This is the one I was one of the ones I was gonna pick up because it has like a purple row and then it has like more neutral tones. And um, I'm excited about this palette. I think most people were. They have varying tones of purple, which is kind of unheard of. Like not many people, not many brands do purple palettes with significant purples like they only do like one shade of purple here's your purple it's a purple palette no it's not stop but this one is good all right and then the last one i think this is the other one or it was the slice of paradise i wanted this is the classical paradise so this one is um it reminds me a little bit of one of the jaclyn hill palettes but better so <laughs> whoo i wish that was a green though like I wish there was like that green from the Jaclyn Hill palette that's given all the trouble. That's the one I really wanted. So we're going to see. We're going to test these out. I don't know what I should do with like, I don't know if you guys want to see. I don't know how, are these limited edition? How long are these going to be around? Like, is it worth sitting down and testing all of these and giving you swatches and stuff? I am always late on swatches and review videos because I test things out. Plus, I need to find the time to actually swatch these. So... I don't always get around to things quickly and if they're limited edition then the train leaves me at the station the boat seal will left me and I'm just left here like okay I guess not so let me know what to do with those but I'm excited because those are colorful palettes they're from an indie brand somebody may have said that they're black owned is that true let me know I should probably do some research and figure that out I would do that before I do a, a review video but I think they might be. And then last up is another Spooky Lips and Fat Hips recommendation. Also a recommendation from Georgia Harris. Um, Makeup Monsters. I They have a sale. And I wanted to get their Dragon Pile. Dragon Pile. 
Dragon Child eyeshadow palette. They are renaming their brand to Makeup Menagerie. So they're like trying to support endangered species and wildlife sanctuaries and things like that, which I think is a great angle, but I don't know you needed to rename your brand to do that. Cause I think Makeup Monsters is so catchy that you should have just kept that, but who am I? Anyway, them have a seal. Maybe them I try to seal out them things so they can get rid of their stock that has the Makeup Monsters logo on it. So I picked up two of the lipsticks. These were buy one, get one. So I got the shade Wipeout, which is this blue, and Juniper, which is a green. Now, the thing about these, I didn't see any, like, really neutral lips that lip colors that I was interested in so I decided to just go big or go home so I got the blue and the green which those are my if I'm gonna wear like a bold color that's the those are the colors I go for you love me in a blue lip right so this one is the wipeout and then this one is juniper which is like a foresty green like a gray tone green I really like that it's like a muted green that reminds me of the Rihanna color let me see. The Rihanna color is Midnight Wasabi. Yeah, they look very similar. Okay, I'm excited. I'm excited. I think Stephanie Nicole said this is one of her favorite liquid lipstick formulas, so I'm excited to see how those go. But then again, she really loves the Dose of Colors lipstick formula, which I don't like at all. So maybe her tastes are different, so maybe I was wrong with that. I don't know. But anyway, I'm gonna get them two liquid lipstick there. And then I got the Dragon Child palette. It feels weighty. It's cute. Like, do you see that holographic? Hey, boo. Hey. And it has, like, the scales. And uh, here are the shades. Oh, I'm excited. I am excited about this. They're mostly matte. There are only two shimmers in here. And I like that they're deeper tones. I love this dragon. Let me see. This flame tongue. Oh, those feel thick, too. I love a thick eyeshadow. <laughs> Stop. You're always so scandalous, but who doesn't like a thick eyeshadow formula? Anyway. Oh, yes, beige. Yes. Okay. I am excited about these. And since I've been following more of the smaller influencers that are more focused on indie brands versus like mainstream brands. I've been really getting into indie brands myself and I'm really excited to try these different brands out. Oh, child. Oh, okay, okay, we're excited. I'm excited and I just can't hide it. I also picked up some brushes, which I'm not gonna even show you guys, but I've been picking up brushes too from like Sonia Kashuk. I got some from Delium tools and I got some from Japanese because they're on sale at Ulta I don't know if I should do a brush video like I don't know like I have so many brushes guys I love brushes I guess when I do my makeup tutorials and my get ready with me videos I do use them in that sense so you'll see them in action But yeah, those are all the products that I picked up nothing too crazy. All right. It's a little crazy I understand it's a little crazy a little bit, but not too much, right? Because these were exciting things for me to pick up and I'm so, I can't wait to, to try out like these indie brand eyeshadows. Like that's gonna be fun for me. I can't wait to dig into it. By the way, there is a tutorial for this look that's on my face right now. I used products from Give Me Glow Cosmetics, which is another indie brand that I was excited to try out. And I wanted to get your guys' thoughts on doing PR hauls. Like I feel like People are so opposed to PR and PR hauls these days because, I'm sorry, the larger influencers have kind of ruined it for smaller influencers because they do these, oh, free shit that beauty gurus get and thousands of dollars in makeup and they're just going through boxes and boxes and boxes of PR products and I'm like, it's so, it just gets so overwhelming and showy and I hate that, but at the same time, I receive products in PR and they're products that I want to share with you guys because I'm excited about them. I'm not going to show you everything. If it's not something that I'm excited about, I don't show it. But a lot of these products I'm really excited about and I wouldn't have tried them out or tested them out unless they were sent to me in PR because some of the, I can't buy everything, one. And then two, some of these products you didn't even, you weren't even aware of. So 
I got products from Juvia's Place, Kevin Aquan, um, Suva Beauty reached out to me, and I have other brands that I want to share with you guys. So let me know if you guys would be interested in a PR haul. On Twitter, I did ask, and they said, go ahead and do that. So I'll probably do it anyway, but like, let me know in this, in the comments below how you guys feel about it. If we're still... We're still open to that because I want to share these products with you guys. I try to incorporate them and get ready with me videos too when I'm trying them out. Just so like I can show you new products and I can get enjoyment out of them too. But I don't want to like piss people off. I know some people just don't like PR products. And I will always put that in the title like they're PR products. I will always give you that disclaimer. I have no issues with that. Because like what do I have to lose? Like really I buy so much I buy so much makeup, like, really? There's nothing, I have nothing to lose. Although, somebody, can we just, let me just give you a little tip. Somebody commented on one of my videos, um, I think it was my recent Get Ready With Me video. She was like, oh, why don't you just go ahead and, and say that you got all these products in PR? We know you did, and you're just shilling, and you're not disclaiming, and I'm like... And she was like, especially those Stila glitter and glows and those duos that you know Stila sent you that. And we know Nars sent you that mascara. I'm like, oh, she I talked to. Oh, she really I talked to. And this is why I won't ever get a collaboration. <laughs> because my dark are up well and proper. I'm say, I, my girl. I didn't, I, was, I didn't really. But this is what I was thinking in my mind. I was like, my girl. Come out of my face before me. Listen, don't come in on my comments and come and come wild me up about PR products. Me the first one for tell us I'm going to get something sent to me. Me not have no problem with that. Because my, my whole thing is, a brand has to reach out to me to get my shipping address. Because I don't have like a PR box that I link for everybody. So you have to reach out directly to me to send me anything. So I can streamline who sends me products. And there will only be brands that I'm interested in trying out myself. And when I get the products, I'm not sharing everything either. Because if I'm not interested in it or I don't like it, I don't share it. But I also get to try out all these products. And I want to be open with you guys and transparent. Because these brands are not paying me, child. And I'm not going on any of these brands. Me not have nothing for gain. Them not. Them pay me. Them pay my bills. They don't. They really don't. So at the end of the day, I am an open book when it comes to that stuff. You guys know this. Anybody that has been with me for a while, you not, you know this. But anyway, I'm going to leave a full list of the products down below in the description box. I'm going to leave links to the indie brand websites where you can check these out. Um, definitely try to get like an affiliate code or a discount code on these. I did for all of these get them on sale or use a discount code because I'm not buying these full price. Because indie brands do tend to be a little pricey sometimes. So I did get all of these on sale or discounted. And then I'll also link to like the stuff that I picked up in Sephora. Those links are going to be affiliate links, right? So if you buy through those links, I end up getting a small sales commission. If you're not comfortable with that, just shop the way you normally shop. That's not a problem at all. But if you do shop through those links, thank you so much because it does help me to put right back into the channel. And I will leave links to my Instagram and Twitter account as well as my Snapchat, which I have been posting more regularly on. Oh my God. Who knew I would be snapping? Anyway, I like show my outfits and stuff. My whole thing is showing my outfit of the day and bopping along to my music. So if you want to check me out on Snapchat, do that as well. And yeah, that's pretty much all I got. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. I really, truly appreciate it. And until my next video, which will be very soon, I'll talk to you. Bye, guys.